Hello from Orlando. So we are currently walking into Universal Studios from our hotel. And our hotel is back that way, like in that area. So we want to see how long it takes us to walk from the hotel up all the way through into the park. So um, it's been about 10 minutes so far, but that's mostly because of stoplights, honestly. But we're here now and we're gonna go walk inside and uh, like activate our annual pass for the first time. So normally when we come here, we park over there. There's a parking structure back there. And then you come into this big circular area where I think there's, I thought security was there, but I'm not entirely sure anymore. And then you go all down these moving walkways, but we're coming in the sidewalk on the side of them, kind of where valet is up here. And then we're gonna try and go up that way. So there's gotta be security between here and the entrance. It can't just be back there, I think. There's all kinds of stuff. There's water over here, a lot of trees. You can see some of their hotels and these really cool looking trees. I don't know what these are either. Neat though. So it's a nice walk just coming in here on the sidewalk in case you ever come in this way instead of drive. Okay, so we found out that when you come in the valet entrance, there is security right down there. So that was no problem. And then you come up the escalator that's by this mini golf course, which looks adorable. We've never done it, but I'd like to someday. That looks cute. And here's City Walk looking pretty busy. But I guess that's not very surprising because it's a Saturday afternoon and the weather is, oh, I've got the camera all over. And the weather is amazing. It's in the 60s and it's overcast, so this is a great time to come. There's Bubba Gump Shrimp, they've got Starbucks, they've got some stores, a place called Moe's, I've never been there. Cinnabon, Fossil, lots of good stuff here. We've never spent a lot of time, we've just kind of always flown through here, but we should really stop and eat on one of these trips. They have a Voodoo Donut says coming this spring so they're building that now and I am very excited about that because who doesn't love donuts here we go we're gonna walk in we hear some Mardi Gras music and there's a sign up there it says Mardi Gras so that must be coming up according to that sign Mardi Gras starts today and I had no idea cool okay we just picked up our annual preferred passes this is them We've never had them before. We've never been a pass holder to Universal before. So it's our very first time. We just got them and we're going in and I'm super, super excited. So let's go. We're in, we've made it, we did it. And I really don't know where to go first. There's shopping, there's the Universal Studios store, Despicable Me, we've never been on Despicable Me. There's a Hello Kitty store <gasps> and Hello Kitty's out. Okay, we might be heading that way. We couldn't get our picture with Hello Kitty because she's going home. Right when we went to get in line, they said she was going home, so no luck. So they've got a band playing up there on stage. Must be for Mardi Gras, and they're setting out all kinds of these dividers here, so I think they're also doing a parade or something. We just had no clue that Mardi Gras was going on. But there is the race through New York with Jimmy Fallon, and I am so excited because I've been wanting to go on this for a long time. And we've never been on it, so I think we'll go get in line. If it's not obnoxiously long. So we got a reservation for Jimmy Fallon because you can't just go wait in line. You need a virtual line pass. So we have to go back between 510 and 610. So I'm gonna be brave and we're gonna try the Revenge of the Mummy ride. It's a 40 minute wait time and it sounds scary and the gentleman said it was a roller coaster. But those are the seats over there, so it doesn't go upside down. So I think we're gonna be okay. So we have to put our stuff in a locker before we can go on. Now, finally, we're back and we're gonna go into Jimmy Fallon. Cool. there's different Tonight Show hosts. Like little, um, I 
mean, the hosts, obviously not themselves, but displays for each host. There's Jay Leno. There's Jimmy, 2014 present. Down there, Steve Allen. There's Jack Parr. And there's me. And there's Conan O'Brien. We just got off of the Tonight Show ride, and it was awesome. But the only problem is it's in 3D, so you need your 3D glasses. And um, I don't know, my vision's kind of wonky, so 3D doesn't totally work for me, but it was still really cool. And I liked it a lot. It was worth it. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we, I would definitely ride this again. And here's some of the gift shops for the Tonight Show ride. Let's see, they've got hats, t-shirts, pillows. Let's see, a regular t-shirt goes for $29.95. Tonight Show pillow goes for, well, $25. They've got glasses, they've got mugs. Mugs are $15. They've got pants, they've got baseballs, shot glasses. They've got a hashtag costume, I'd like that. Not to wear, but. Somebody else can wear it. They've got Sarah with no H stuff. So it says EU on it. And they have some funny tight pants t-shirts. These also 30, yeah, also $30. And they actually have tight white pants. These leggings are 33. I would like this a lot. I wonder if they make this in a smaller size. Catch you on the flippity flop. You can see the crowd tonight. It's pretty busy, but I wouldn't say jammed. You can definitely still get around. So now we're heading back to Diagon Alley to officially go in and do Harry Potter stuff, which is my favorite part of all of Universal. We got some Mardi Gras folks out here. I don't know who they're supposed to be. The girl's on stilts, but you can get your picture with them. We made it. And I don't even know where to start. I'm so excited. Do we go to Quality Quidditch Supplies? Do we go to Weasley's Wizard Wheezes? Do we just keep walking? I don't know. Let's look at Quality Quidditch Supplies. Let's see what's in the window. buy a jar of you know poop. Muggle curiosities. What do they think is curious? 
a lamp, fax machine, an old radio, a couple old radios, a fan, another little fan, a vacuum TV. Sounds like a train rumbles by. And it obviously can't be the underground, but I don't know. They do have a lot of rail. Yeah, they do. So we're by Sugar Plum Sweet Shop. I definitely plan to go in every place. I just wanna I like to walk around and see everything and take a bunch of pictures. And there's the travel agency, Globus Monday. Just a sign though. And there's a spot for the Owl Post and the Hopping Pot where you can get butterbeer. Amongst other things, I think, too. At the Owl Post, it looked like somebody was trying to wrap up and mail a hat and a broom. And, ew, that's not good. This gentleman in the window is drinking some Skelligro, and then his, his arm gets bones in it again. We're in Wise Acres, and they have this awesome globe. And there's a lot of merchandise in here. So there's t-shirts for 25, scarves, um, like, looks like a kid size large hoodie for 37, little baby onesie for 25, mugs and glasses, lots of Christmas ornaments. That's neat, it's not even Christmas and they have them. Um, what was that price? It looks like $19 for a Christmas ornament. For that kind anyway. Little flags are $15. This stuff in the glass cases is pretty cool. For $49, there's a, like a die cast of the Hogwarts Express. Uh, compasses for $47. A time turner back there for 50. Well, we're, yeah, is that a compass or a sundial? That one back there is a compass, right? It doesn't have a needle, but... Okay, then how could it be a compass? Oh my god. This might... Yeah, we're not sure if that's a compass now. There are cell phone cases. And... How much are these? These are 30. Oh, and over here are stocking holders and stockings. Cool. These are 33. Platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express. And there are some more huge telescopes up there. They're amazing. And this globe is just huge. This is the Magical Menagerie. window is singing. Oh, a twooper. From Darkest Africa. You need a license to have one. And there's some eggs in there too. Uh, I don't see a sign for these guys. I assume that they're just big ugly toads. So now we're in the Magical Menagerie. And they have all kinds of magical creatures and a lot of fun stuff in here. Tons of stuffed animals and I want all of them. I remember this guy, I really like him. There's Fluffy, there's a ferret, a Cornish Pixie. He's 15. So much fun stuff. I think this one's Fang and Crookshanks. 
There's Buck Beak. This, I think we've seen this before too. I really want this giant pygmy puff. They are, what does that say, 35. Wow, 